Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome, welcome. Today, I am doing a flip through of the official Bob's Burgers coloring book. Um, Candace wanted to see a flip through of this book, so I am doing this just for you, Candace. So, I know you'll watch it. All right, so this is an insert page. It's a good book to use uh, like super tips markers or any water based markers. Um, the paper is pretty thick. It's not like super thick, but it's thicker than most. So, uh, super tips is pretty good. I wouldn't use alcohol markers because it's double sided, but super tips, color pencils, um, you know. Maybe even watercolor, maybe a little bit of watercolor. I have not colored anything in this book yet, so I'm not gonna tell you to use watercolor and that it works, cause I don't know yet. Um, I haven't done anything in this book yet. I need to. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice book, I like it. I just haven't gotten to it yet. It has some pretty cool pictures. Uh, if you watch the show, it makes it that much more funny when you see the pictures. Um, it has different types of line art in it. So you like on the previous one, you had it where it had like the black and the, the kind of thicker line art. And then you have the one where it's like all just line art and it's kind of like a thinner line. And then you have pages like this where I guess you're supposed to draw maybe Luis or something I'm not sure I don't know but it's kind of a different mix um one thing I hate about it is they do this and you can't get it like his leg is cut off I don't know it's weird in the middle so pages like that I probably won't do but these don't like these pages like this are really nice uh, okay and then some of them have like little sayings it's just a bunch of like I want to I don't want to say stock art, but it could be, or maybe it's just meant to look like stock art. I'm not sure. But like this, I'm never gonna do this. Like the burger, create your own burger. I mean, I could use it to like practice coloring meat or something. But I thought this one was cute. There was an episode like this where they were uh, talking about um. Gail and how she had pictures of animals rear ends all over her house or something but they're cute they're really cute and I can see myself using my super tips and my pencils in here and just kind of getting creative with this one because they have some nice kind of cool pictures and things like look there's Louise sitting on top of this Sasquatch thing some really nice ones I was um I was gonna put this one in the book swap but then I was like I was flipping through it and I was like no nah, I see myself coloring some of these just hanging out and I love Jimmy Jr. he's my favorite out of the all the characters um I was like no nah, I see myself actually you know coloring in this book um I just like the more detailed books better this is kind of like a more just relaxing hanging out in front of the tv sitting in the living room bringing my little box of markers and just coloring with it i could also see myself just like letting loose and actually not shading in this book just kind of coloring just flat coloring. I can get away with flat coloring because the co the show is kind of flat. So it would actually look not too bad. Um, maybe just like some very light shading. but And it's a thick book too. It has, you see I'm still flipping. It has a lot to color in here. Um, and like I said, the paper is great. Here's another one of those Burger of the Day. They just flipped it. 
But uh, most of the pages in this book are really good. Like, they did pretty good with this middle page here. It's not too bad. Um, at least his leg's not cut off. But they have nice pictures. Like, this one's thicker line art. This one's a little thin. So it has different types of line art if you don't just like... Like, if you don't like the line art, like the thick line art like this, then they have some in here that are thin. Like, this one's the thinner line art. Me, I'm mostly going to be coloring probably these little pages, the seam pages. These bigger ones, I'm not so sure. Especially this one, because it's like cut off and half of his mouth. I don't know, something like this would just... I, I don't, I can't. <laughs> but, I think this one's cute. The, the museum... a nice book so candies i hope you uh find something in here that you think you would like to color maybe you can find it i'm not sure um it might be on amazon i'm not really sure uh, my niece got this for me for my birthday like three years ago and it's sad that i haven't colored anything in it but um I thought this one was kind of cute too but i'm gonna get around to it i wish it was one-sided so that i could use my alcohol markers in but i feel like if it's a page on the other side i'm not gonna color in here's another one of those burger of the days if i feel like i'm not gonna color the other side then i'll probably use my alcohol markers um But for the most part, mostly my super tips, probably, I'll probably even try some um, watercolor in here to see how it takes. And then, which is also the fun part, it comes with a stickers. And these are so cute. And this, even this picture is cute with all of them in front of the restaurant. So that's pretty much it and so it's a thick book look it's pretty it's pretty thick it's really nice um it might have it might be on amazon it might be where she got it from but it's uh i guess this who is this published by i'm not even sure it says universe so i guess that might be the publishing yep universe publishing And then it has the different artists here. So it is the official Bob's Burger coloring book. So it's by the creators of Bob's Burger. So that's good. It's not like some knockoff or something. So I hope you enjoyed the flip through, Candice, and everyone else who has not seen a flip through of this book yet. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. So other people can see the flip through too because that's how youtube works so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video